Litcoin versus Bitcoin. I have had a massive amount of requests about Litcoin lately and what are the differences between that and Bitcoin. So I'm going to give you the six main differences between the two. Also, I don't own either of these, so I'm going to share at the end if I had to buy one of these, which one would I invest in, Bitcoin or Litcoin, guys? So I hope you enjoy this today. Now, I know if you're a subscriber in my channel, you're wondering, Jeremy, there haven't been nearly enough stock market videos lately. You're doing a lot on cryptocurrencies lately. Yes, for two main reasons. The first is in the month of December, it's so lame in the stock market like there's no volatility there's no there are like no companies reporting earnings right now there are like no mergers and acquisitions most of wall street takes this time there's like no drama out there to even talk about in the stock market so there's like hardly anything going on right and the second reason is i have a massive amount of people that are subscribed to this channel that want to know about cryptocurrencies right now it's the hot thing so i figure why not explain this Obviously, I'm gonna to try to explain these things to you so you understand. Now, the first main difference be between these two is they do not run on the same hardware, okay? Bitcoin runs on something called SHA-256, okay? Whereas Litcoin runs on script protocol, two very different things. So if you're gonna run, like if you've got an ant miner or something, you need to have a separate ant miner for Bitcoin and a separate ant miner for Litcoin if you wanna mine both of them. You cannot just use the same equipment. So the, the, the massive amount of people that are mining Bitcoin, right? They can't just go ahead and use all that hardware over to mine Litcoin. They're two very different things, guys. So that is a key difference between those. I believe it's something that they didn't want, uh, you know, the founders of it didn't really want a monopoly over the the kind of the mining experience so like if there's a big bitcoin miner if they had if their equipment could just run litcoin as well then obviously they they wouldn't even have to you know double down the different amounts of equipment and whatnot so i guess i guess in theory it prevents from more of a monopoly state over the mining of the currency so that is the first main difference the second main difference between these two is litcoin has a far smaller market cap, okay? Litcoin currently has a, has a market cap a little under $20 billion, okay? Whereas Bitcoin is almost approaching $300 billion, a massive, massive difference. Now, a lot of people say, you know, uh, Litcoin is undervalued if you compare it to Bitcoin. Some people feel like Bitcoin should get a much bigger valuation. We'll kind of explain that a little later on in the video. I don't really have too much of an opinion on this particular subject. I could say maybe Litcoin's a little more undervalued, but it's not as fair to say, well, just because Bitcoin's at, at a $300 billion market cap rate, Litcoin should be there. It's not really how things work. It's no different than a stock, right? You know, Apple might be valued at, you know, $800 billion. It doesn't mean necessarily Tesla should be valued at $800 billion. It's a lot more that goes into it than just, oh, this one's at a certain price, so this one should be at a certain price, guys. And that is the difference between number two. The third main difference between these two is it comes down to how long have they been around. Bitcoin has been around for around nine years as of right now, as of recording this video, whereas Litcoin has been around for about six years. And a lot of people feel like Litcoin might be a little further along as far as some of the technology they're using and whatnot, because they kind of got to see Bitcoin come up, right? And they kind of got to see some of the, the struggles that Bitcoin had and said, okay, let's do this better and that better that we'll kind of discuss later on. And so it's kind of like almost like having a, you know, a big brother or whatnot. If you grow up and you have a big brother you kind of get to see you know some of the mistakes they made some of the things they did really well and then you're like okay well they're doing this thing bad so I don't want to do that but they're doing this really well and this really well so I want to make sure I adapt that to my life that's kind of what's happened with Bitcoin and Litcoin you know Litcoin kind of got to see oh you know Bitcoin's having this struggle and this struggle so we can fix that but they're also doing this really successful and so that's kind of you know a big difference between the two is the amount of time they've both been and they're both still in their infancy I mean you know even Bitcoin only around for nine years, that's hardly any time at all. That's difference number three. Difference number four has to do with how many still have to be mined, okay? And this is why we could talk about the valuation and why it doesn't really match up all the time, right? Litcoin still has around 30 million to be mined. Around 30 million more Litcoins have to be mined, right? Whereas Bitcoin, there's only about 5 million left to be mined. That's a dramatic difference between the two. So sometimes when you have a lot more supply still to come on hand, right, which Litcoin has way more supply still to come on hand, you maybe can't command as high of a valuation. And we could go into a subject that I don't even want to go into right now if they're both overvalued or both undervalued and things like that. But all I'm saying is if you're comparing each to each other, right, 
One still got, you know, uh, 25 million more coins to come on compared to the other. So generally speaking, obviously the one that has less will be valued higher, which is Bitcoin. And that is difference number four. Difference number five between these two is Litcoin is going to have again in about a little less than two years, okay? Bitcoin is gonna have in a little less than three years. What does that mean to have? Basically, that means if you are a miner, you're gonna have to do double the work for the same amount of coins, okay? Meaning, basically, if you were digging graves, right, you were digging graves, and for this amount before, you used to get, um, you know, twelve and a half dollars for this, this grave you dug, right? Then when something halves, basically what that means is now you gotta dig two graves to go ahead and get that 12 and a half dollars. So now you gotta do double the work, which is a lot of why cryptocurrency people, a lot of them will say, well, it gets harder and harder to mine as time goes on. And that's true because every time something halves, right, it gets that much harder. You gotta do that much more work to even get a coin at that point in time, guys. Difference number six between these two is Litecoin is far faster when doing transactions, okay? And it is also far cheaper than actually transacting through Bitcoin. And the difference is dramatic, okay? We're talking about when you transact something with a Bitcoin, it's several dollars. It could be as much as $15, maybe even $20 to do a Bitcoin transaction. Whereas if you're doing a Litecoin transaction, it's like pennies or less than pennies, guys. It's a dramatic, dramatic difference in the transaction cost and and the speed the transactions can go through. I mean, you can send like 20 lit coins in probably like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, something like that, guys. It's extremely fast. So if I had to buy one of these, and I do not own either, if I had to buy one of these, I would say I would have to buy Litcoin, mainly because obviously the valuation is far less, but not just that, mainly because the transactions are far cheaper, so therefore I see a much, a much bigger chance that it could be widespread adoption, okay, rather than Bitcoin. Also, how, how much faster the transactions go through, how much cheaper they are. So when you got a, a far faster transaction, a far cheaper transaction, transaction, I see Litcoin as being as having a much bigger future than Bitcoin. Obviously, Bitcoin right now, a lot of people are using it to store wealth, much like, you know, a lot of people use gold and things like that, right? Well, I see if you're going to do transactions, which one are you doing it through? I 100% believe Litcoin will win on that overall, which is why if I had to invest in one of these, I would absolutely invest in Litcoin. I'm not saying anybody out there should go invest in Litcoin or any cryptocurrency. I'm just saying if I had to do one, I'm going with Litcoin, and that is my reason for it, guys. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment if you got something to say. If you don't think Litcoin's better and you actually think Bitcoin's better, leave me any commentary if you think there are some differences I missed here that you want to bring up. I would love to hear from you guys in our comment section. Thank you for watching and have a great day.